Okay, kids, men, women, children of all ages, this is part two of the whistle tutorial. Uh, so for some reason, I can only go up to 30 minutes before the camera shuts off. You keep spraying this brush plate using your Q-tips, cleaning this off. Okay, get that as clean as possible. Take one of your Q-tips and kind of strip it down as far as you can. Take your CRC, spray it directly on the Q-tip and stick it directly down in that hole as far as you can and clean all that gunk. We want to get in there all the way to the end and clean that stuff out of there. Get another fresh one. <clears throat> Do the same thing. Whisker it down. Spray the CRC right on it. Clean the other one. Force it down in there. Clean that brush well out good. Not too bad. Okay, now they should have a nice smooth place to ride. Actually, these wires could be replaced, but we're for the sake of time, we're not going to do it tonight. But you would just unsolder these, run them down to the rollers, put them back where they were. Okay. Next, we're going to get our new springs and new brushes. You'll have a spring like this. And the brush will be like this with a with an end on it. And it'll fit with some nudging inside the spring thing. Okay? For the sake of time, I've already put two together. And this is what it, this is what it'll look like. You'll have that spring onto the end of that brush. You take your new brush, set it in there, and spring. Take your other second one, set it in there. Okay. Now, to make things a little easier, try to flip it up. And make sure that the springs are sitting on top of that commutator. Get one. And two. Oh, okay. See, we got to try again. Because the second one. went down on us. Okay, so we try again. Set it into the brush well. Turn it up. Try to make everything nice and even if you can. And this may take a few attempts, but when you get it, you'll have got it. I missed it again. Shit. Mm. Okay. Push them down in a little farther. Flip it up. Let's let's try to get this one on first. 
push them down. Happened again. Okay, one more time. You gotta have patience with this stuff. If you give up, it'll be it'll beat you every time. Smoke a cigarette, go get something to drink, come back. Let's try doing it this way. Same thing, but we're just going at it from another angle. Hmm. That thing just doesn't want to go down for me tonight. Correctly. But you, you have to have patience. And it might be easier if you just do it this way. Yeah. Certain things, like some motors, you have to do that way. It went down on me one more time. That's it. You're only getting one more. You're only going to make me look stupid one, one more time. That's it. One down. Second down. It got me again. This will take you a little practice. Get them, get them on there straight, where the brushes are straight. There, that time it went. But those brushes, it's very important that they are sitting flush against that commutator face. I don't know if you can see it that way. That way you can see it. You see that brush where, it's, where I, we put it in? And they're both on there now. So that's going to turn around and make us a nice new thing. We get our nuts that we took pork took off in the very beginning we took the, the brush plate off hand tighten them on it's a little cumbersome sometimes working with these gloves but it will save you from having the grimiest hands around your wife won't let you touch her and just hand tighten them Okay, get your socket you had, give them a turn, but we don't want these to be too tight because then it won't turn, especially in the beginning, the commutator won't turn. So get them on there, pretty, pretty good. And we'll take our field wire that we took off in the beginning. Get our flux capacitor. Where did I put that darn solder at? Piece of solder.
solder your fuel wire back on. That looks pretty good. Okay, and our other wire we took off here, which now has become a little shorter. I should have cl clipped it. So I actually do need a new piece of wire, but I have no idea where my wire is right now. During this restructuring. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put some flux on there. And I'll build up a little solder on this. touching okay let's get some tin this wire a little bit can do this without getting having to get a new piece of wire which is the proper way to do it as I should be doing it it's late at night and I'm trying to finish this video Almost, almost there on it. piece of wire but let's say you don't have wire okay you'd have to do this anyway not everybody's got a, a drawer full of, st of stuff like I said I don't know where my wire is right now at this moment. I'm never ready when I do this stuff. Yeah, I snipped that a little bit too short. So that's why that's being a little complicated on us. Should have just did it right the first time and got the wire. I'm stubborn though. Okay, we will make this work. Okay, we need a little more flux. We probably got stuff going hot now. You need to cool it off, but we're live. A 
let's try to build up a little bit more solder over here. And maybe we can get a touch. So close. Oh yeah, we're hot. Okay, I did get it to touch. So now I can make sure that we got a connection. I think we do. Yes. Okay. Should use a new wire there. Definitely should use a new wire. Okay. So now let's turn our attention to the relay. You want to take the CRC. Spray in between here. Sandpaper. Blah, blah, blah. Don't I do this stuff beautiful? Uh, and just shine those ends of each one up. Top, bottom. Spray the paper. Keep it wet like everything else in life. If you know what I mean. And just scratch it up a little bit. Make sure that they meet. If you have to bump that thing over. You can usually do it by hand. Make sure they're touch. Get it down this way. Eyeball it up. And make sure that they touch. Okay, we'll spray one more time. Clean up our work. You can see at some other time someone has dropped a little bit of solder on there and it's cool though because it, it didn't go through there or nothing so it's cool but you want to be careful maybe even put a piece of wood there or something while you're soldering okay let's check this connection again that I'm worried about okay that should be good we do have one stray piece of solder over here. Should be able to knock that off. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, we're going to take the show over here now. Turn our transformer handles down. While we put the the whistle to the track. I can't wait till those new camera holders come in. I'll be doing some better stuff. I, mean, I will. Get yourself some voltage going. And you should be able to Touch the back here. Okay, now what we still need to do is, is take our oil. In this case, we're using ATF. Put it right there. A drop. And go underneath. And you'll see there's a little thing on the impeller there. Let 
in the center. We need to get a drop on that also. The best thing you can do is take a uh, pencil or something else. I've always used pencils. I, I don't have one here right now. Or Q-tip, something that you can get under there. And let that thing wind out. And you'll hear it. If you can't stand the sound. Okay. Take that back out. Give it another drop of oil on the armature there. Hit it in the back. Let it wind out. I'm talking about 10, 15 minutes. The longer it goes, the longer it goes, and the more times you lube it up, as that oil goes down there, the better off you'll be. Okay, our final test is the whistle button. go underneath again on the armature under the scoop and another drop on top and keep keep letting it wind out stick that q-tip under there and keep letting it go walk away Just let it run. Because that oil needs to go where it needs to go where it needs to be. You can't stand the sound because it will get louder and louder as, as it goes on. And that that's what we're looking for. A nice strong whistle sound. Okay? Again with the whistle button. So now we need to focus our attention on the part underneath the impeller and put a drop of lube on that. Put another drop of lube up on top. Keep winding it out. I'm talking about let this go for like 15, 20 minutes like this. Five minutes, come back, lubricate it. Top and bottom. Five minutes, come back, put the thing under, 
Lubricate it again. Keep letting it wind out. Now we got a good sound and whistle again. You, you hear there's two tones to it. This side has the high, this side has the lower tone. There's only, you can even take that off if you just want one or the other. But you hear how nice and fast that that armature is spinning now since we cleaned it and we put new brushes and springs. And that's the whole secret to it. You know, then every, you know, every time you know, you run it, ideally, you would like to lubricate it. And once again, be very careful. Don't get it on the brushes. Just a drop on top. Just a drop on the bottom of the whistle and power. You'll hear it go faster and faster. Which means louder and louder. fast that spinning sounds like a hot rod now boom boom that's about where you want it folks all right this was the post-war whistle service uh, that I promised everyone I would do <clears throat> like I said you want to replace this wire that was too short. You saw me jury rig it just for the sake of time. Because it's it's late and I want to get this one in the bag. Uh, the last little adjustment I would do is un loosen this a little bit and you know straighten it out a little. But it's fine like that. It's not going to bother anything. But we're going now. I cannot stress though how important it is to keep going underneath, hit the bottom of the impeller, and a drop down the armature. Right in the middle. No oil on these ever, ever, ever. And, and take it by hand, move the thing, stick that toothpick or Q-tip under it, let it wind out again and again. That's the secret to it. Now you don't ever have to pay anybody to get your whistle going ever again. I hope this helped. Like I said, you'll need a little patience to get those brushes on the commutator face straight. It may take you four or five, ten tries, twenty. But just make sure they're straight on there. And don't tighten these bolts too, too tight. Because then it's too tight and not no move. But this last thing what I showed you that test, this is Ken at Lionel for Less. 